Today we're gonna show you guys why the Big Island could be your can't miss island of Hawaii. We're Marissa, Nathan, Hensley, and JJ. After living in our RV for six years, we're taking a 10 week adventure detour to visit our 50th state of Hawaii. Life is a journey. Let go and get going. When visiting Hawaii, there are four main islands that most visitors tend to explore. You've got Kauai, Oahu, Maui, and the island of Hawaii, the Big Island. They each hold just very unique feels to them. They're very different in their landscapes and just the vibe that each island gives off. The Big Island is a very laid back, easygoing, just when you think of Hawaii, like the Big Island definitely strikes me as like being true Hawaii and that's why we wanted to make sure we came here. Okay, so I think if you're wanting to come to Hawaii and you're not maybe looking for that resort feel, um, I think getting an Airbnb or something more relaxed, I think the Big Island could be a good bet. And that's part of why we chose the Airbnb we're at right now. Oh my word, this is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, when I pictured Hawaii, this is exactly what I envisioned. This is perfect. What we also loved about this farm is the animals here for the kids. I actually see some running around right there. Whenever <laughs> there's some ducks. So there's animals here. They grow fruits and vegetables. Okay, I'm gonna have my Kona coffee here every morning. I like, uh, they've covered the TV pretty no, much. I, love I like that it. Too. I like it. I love that. Oh, wow. Look at this. So beautiful. It's like you're in a jungle. Oh. Bedroom number two. This is awesome. <laughs> and oh. These lamps also work as well. Wow. Yes. And then yeah. if you walk through that door through the red curtains, is the outside shower and the sauna. Ooh. So, this is the yoga studio. Wow. wow. I might have to try me some yoga while I'm here. <laughs> I've done a few classes, but basketball was more my thing. <laughs> oh, oh, my word. <laughs> oh, check this out. Oh, it's... <laughs> I <laughs> love saunas. Love them so much. This is great. Oh, it smells beautiful in here. So this is the outdoor shower. Look at this. Oh this goodness. is long gone, which we do grow on the farm. Um, it's delicious. Delicious lemon and some bananas. These are macadamia nuts. Uh, we have like over a hundred macadamia nuts on a tree, or maybe about a hundred. Um, and so we pick these, harvest them, deshell them, process them, and pack them up for you. Wow. It's just so peaceful here. I think I'm gonna love it here. <laughs> but yeah, even being here, pretty much a full month at this house, like I, every every day, we're still just blown away at waking up with this rainforest feel, mm -hmm. the views. Um, the sunset. The sunsets. It's been oh my goodness. Incredible. Like, I hate to cut to another B-roll, but like. <laughs> Show those, roll those beautiful, <laughs> in that beautiful bean footage, you know. But we have watched and recorded dozens, literally dozens of sunsets from this house, and, and they are just epic every night. Look at that sunset. Oh, wow. Come to the Big Island and you get to save a little bit of money. 
you get a little more of a laid back feel, you get to watch more sunsets and sunrises and immerse yourself more like a local. And that's part of what we've done with this route is almost view it as an RV route where we have, yeah. have spent a longer amount of time. We didn't want to just come to Hawaii for a week and just wear ourselves out and spend an insane amount of money. Like we wanted to kind of spread that out over a couple of months, stay places longer periods of time and watch some sunsets. Something really cool about this Airbnb rental is they have additional places you can rent and it was super special to us because our family came in to visit. It's mm. always been my mother's lifelong dream to get to Hawaii. And she always told us when that's the time you go to Hawaii, I'm coming to visit. So my mom got to come out, Nathan's mom mm. got to come out and my sister got to join us on the big island. One of my mom's dreams, I know when she mentioned Hawaii, the first thing she thought was a luau. So here, this is my mom, this is Marissa's mom, this is Marissa's sister. And there's a really high likelihood you'll never see me in a Hawaiian shirt again, but so this is a, uh, just soak this in. <laughs> you look adorable. I look adorable? Yeah. Maybe I should wear it more, we'll see. You should. Jay, you go get some food? Food. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. <laughs> A hooky hooky hooky, hooky hooky hooky, hooky 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 love. Oh God, let me go. Ahi ki ku, ku akula hoi kamala nei adeki. supposed to cry. <laughs> you cry all the other times we check off bucket list stuff. Elvis and the Grand Canyon. When he mentioned Elvis, I got a little excited. I <laughs> thought it was going to be an Elvis song. A Hawaiian Elvis. Hawaiian Elvis fire show. Yeah. <laughs> so we kicked off the island with a luau and then we sort of felt out with the family to see what do you guys want to do and of course what anybody wants to do one of the main reasons we chose this island was Volcanoes National Park. We did a helicopter ride leaving from Hilo and flying over Volcanoes National Park and over one of the volcanoes that we thought was still active, <laughs> but it's actually, it stopped erupting like a month before we got here. Kind of bum, one of the main reasons we picked this island was because the volcano was actively flowing, but between the time we picked it and the time we got here, it stopped flowing. It had uh, been active for years. Yeah, it had been active for years. <laughs> the helicopter ride was beautiful. It was neat to see the National Park from above. Mm -hmm. We also, after the ride, went down and visited some things down below. So we went and visited the Sea Arch, which we read on a sign. This is in 2018, this is true, but it said it's the <laughs> youngest land on Earth. I think I knew this, but I never thought about it. Right. All of Hawaii is created by volcanoes. Like right now, we're sitting on land that was created by a volcano. And this spot was the youngest spot at some point. And for the Volcanoes National Park, I'm gonna say almost more so than any national park we've ever been to, you get this really awesome contrast between life green life that's lush mm -hmm. that's jungle like the, the animals are chirping to like total i hate to say but like almost like total death uh, so we did a hike that really like magnified those two things mm -hmm. called kilauea iki trail and i think it also maybe combines the crater trail mm -hmm. one of the coolest trails we've ever done yes it was incredible just to see the contrast mm -hmm. be between the greenery and the black lava rock and yeah. getting to walk on a crater floor I'd have to say that was a first for us and a really unique experience to get to do that. Now the Big Island has two large cities, of Kona, which we're close to, we're actually in Captain Cook, and then they also have a town of Hilo. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we visited the Hilo area, but it's such a long drive. We said, you know what? Let's spend the night over there. And so we did, it was, and we did a hostel for the first time. So if you've ever wondered what it's like to stay in a hostel, instead of like a hotel or a full-fledged Airbnb where you get the entire place, actually where we're staying, we're actually two floors up. So this is the, one of the common areas, um, the basement area here. TV, couch, bathroom, there's three different bathrooms in this house. So essentially the hostel is a house but it's like split up in different areas for people to rent rooms. One thing you'll see a lot, there are tons of signs because you've got people sharing the space. Everybody's got like their own containers that are labeled. 
with their names. Yeah, you've got signs clearly pointing out what needs to be done in the kitchen. Two shared fridges, shared printer, shared TV, shared Roomba. <laughs> this is the night after, but this is uh, where we stayed last night. How was it? First time in a hostel, huh? I didn't even know. You didn't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was great. It was fun. So this is our room review. We were here. JJ and Hensley had her own loft. She was pumped about that. I don't know if you've ever stayed in a hostel before or know what it is. I had not. <laughs> and I didn't even know that's what we were doing until I was already there and was like, this is a hostel. Oh. <laughs> this is how we save $200 a night. We love living simply and making the most of mm of our space and so I think it was a really unique experience that you know we we only rented what we needed which was a room for the night so it yeah. was great it makes sense Hilo is known for having some pretty awesome waterfalls and I know waterfalls is another thing that you probably think of when you think of Hawaii mm. is just these beautiful lush huge waterfalls gushing and so it was cool that we got to go to the Hilo side, check out those waterfalls. The snorkeling on the Big Island is definitely unique because of the wildlife. The wildlife here is just so incredible. We took a snorkel trip and all of a sudden we were just surrounded by these amazing pods of dolphins. Dolphins everywhere. It was just so magical and incredible. Have never experienced anything like that. I had never seen a dolphin up close before. Usually you can see them kind of in the distance, mm -hmm. um, but it was just a unique and incredible experience to see these magnificent creatures right around you. One of the top places to snorkel on the Big Island, we can actually see from our Airbnb is at the Captain Cook Monument. Mm -hmm. It's in a bay. You can only access it by a boat tour or a kayak, or you can do a strenuous hike down to the monument and snorkel from there. We opted to rent a kayak, take the kayak out to the bay, and you can't you can't put your kayak on shore, so you kind of have to pull it around with you and jump in the water. And that coral out there, that coral reef out there is just incredible. The fish, it was amazing. It was definitely a very cool and unique snorkeling spot. And so as far as snorkeling during the daytime uh, on the Big Island, awesome but you can also snorkel at night. Now, why would you want to snorkel at night? Yes, that sounds... <laughs> like not a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, one of the coolest things you can do on the Big Island and somewhere you really can't do in many places in the world. Like this is one of the mm -hmm. top places in the world and the most accessible places in the world to snorkel at night with manta rays. So one of the things I love about Hawaii is that there are no billboards but they've gone above and beyond here. They don't even allow like signs for where our boat is gonna leave or whatever for our outing we've got going on. The lady said to look for a gray cargo van with a red light. So we're either going on a tour or we're getting kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we're going on a tour. I hope so too. You go knock on the door, babe. <laughs> <laughs> we just ate an obscene amount of spicy tacos and then we're gonna load on that boat and go swim in the ocean. Boy So where's the footage, the epic footage of the manta rays, you ask? <laughs> How was it, girls? We should have remembered our dream of mean. So they're both sick. We're out there like an hour, like just floating on the water. They would not come to us. I don't know where they were, but there well, was... Well, it might be because they don't like puke in the water. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Turns out I found out after the fact Mackenzie threw up, what, five times? Is that what you said? Maybe so, five. Um, <laughs> that yeah. was an experience. And so they offered to give us a heavily discounted return to come back because that was not typical to see nothing like we did. They say um, like 10 times a year you might not see what a they man. Say. <laughs> but we got a hot tip from another guide saying that the manta rays, a lot of it actually moved north. So instead of launching south, we came back a second time because Shamarissa really wanted to see I was not giving rays. up on these manta rays. <laughs> so we spent the last of our life savings going north, <laughs> going north to see the manta rays and hope that was going to work out this second time because we were nervous the whole time 
I'm going on this boat, like we're spending money again. We're taking the time to go out. We might get sick again. We are screaming. We think that's a good sign. The only time you want to hear screaming when you're getting out of a boat at night. Several boats out here ahead of us. So this is the device to put in the water that lets off the light and attracts the plankton, which attracts the manta rays. probably the highlight of what we did on this island. It was mm -hmm. it was so unique and incredible and their mouths are huge but they are their throats only the size of a quarter. So it, they're it's, not interested it's in definitely, but you think they are. It's definitely intimidating seeing these, you know, huge mouths coming at you mm -hmm. and, and they can't swim backwards. So they have to do like flips in the water and spin. And it's like they're doing, yeah, it's a just a circus for you. Or it's something. like a magical experience. And there were, I think there were like 18 at one point. And one of the guides with us said they hadn't seen that many in the water in like two years. We're so excited. After two and a half years of our comments being disabled on YouTube, they have finally been given back. We have missed connecting with you guys on mm -hmm. comments. So would love, 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 love to have you leave us a comment and would love to interact with you guys there. So if you're curious on how we save money by doing Hawaii and maybe how you could go to Hawaii, uh, we're gonna do a live chat right after this video, 6 p.m. Central, uh, and we'll answer your questions. What did it cost for that excursion? Why did you pick the Airbnb you picked? Why did you pick, you know, the different islands and mm -hmm. the amount of time you spent on those islands? Do you regret anything? Do you think anything was the greatest decision ever? <laughs> you just ask away. That's what live chats are about. And we are actually super, super open and honest. Marissa gets scared about how open and honest I am. <laughs> we are excited to get back to the RV, mm -hmm. but we're also, you know, sad to, to see this chapter of Hawaii end for now for us. Don't forget to head over to our chat. We'd love to see you guys over there. Until next time, we'll catch you guys later.